Good morning and welcome to the Stock Planner channel. Today is Monday and we're just starting our trading week. Well, are you going to be watching or are you going to be doing? You could be watching dancing or you could actually be dancing. Your choice. My encouragement to you is, hey, watch those videos. Try to learn from those videos. But at some point in time, you need to pick some stocks and actually do some paper trading, taking a small amount of money and investing, or just asking some questions. Engagement is actually doing as well. It may not be trading, but you're engaging. I have a Discord ch chat channel. It's working out quite well. Um, I don't know how many people are doing, uh, looking at it, but getting some feedback and helping me organize myself. But this is engagement, Pinter test. I believe I talked about this about three or four days ago. It was a wait type thing, a wait, uh, wait till the stock got down. This is a chart of a subscriber. It looks like he's using this, the RSI and the MACD, the pure version. That looks like he's using the standard version of MACD. Does it matter? You can use anything, any indicator you want, but these are his chosen indicators. And you can see that this price movement has hit what I believe to be a support level twice. The RSI or the stochastic RSI, I'm not sure what he's using. I can't see, but it has reached a level. Now he can wait another, another bar till it swings around, or he can take, and I, and, and I do this a lot, is to take the trade, take the trade while he has it. So is this stock going to go up based on what you see here? The MACD. The histogram is below the zero line. That normally is a sign that the stock is in a downward trend, and it is. But you see, it's starting to decrease right here. The, the distance, and this is the di this is the histogram of the distance between the two lines. These two. So that's starting to change. And if that's starting to change, just like this, you'll see the stock start coming up, and it's looking like that's what's happening. So, are you a risk taker? This is a interesting thing but anyway that's in one way of engagement another way of engagement is just to ask a question i'm assuming this this subscriber is a fairly new trader and it made the comment on my last video about that i love to trade when the zigzag does not know what it's doing the point is they said it's you know it's a, it's a lagging uh in other words it's it's when when you use the zigzag it's too late because you're waiting for the trend to, to actually occur and that's that's really not the way, the way i use it i i when it doesn't know what it's doing that's when i take action i don't wait till it till it knows what it's doing because it's a uh, zigzag is a lagging indicator let's take a look the job of swing trader is to find these peaks and valleys also the minor ones you might want to trade the minor ones you could identify those peaks and valleys and you use indicators to do that some people think that when the Stochastic RSI is below the, t the 20. 20, that's the time when it, you can identify these. And above the 80, that's the time you can identify these swings. It looks like that's a good one. Looks like the stochastic RSI does identify some of those, those swings. Also, th other people think the RSI does a nice job. Okay, I believe that too. And then others believe the MACD does a nice job. Now I didn't take, but you could take those. Okay, you wouldn't take the that one because you, you're only taking the ones that you're taking buys that are below the zero, and you're taking sells that are above the zero. And it, I like them when they're a lot above, above. About this one, let's that's a, and that's a good one to go down. So these three indicators, along with the zigzag, helps me kind of see things. And that's. The, it helps all the zigzag does is help me identify the trend and where the trend is going to reverse that's what i'm trying to do as a swing trader i'm trying to figure out where the trend reversal is going to and then i get in and i try to stay in as long as the trend is my friend in other words if i do get in in here i use a zigzag to keep me in this trade as long as i can or at least a five percent so i use a zigzag both ways i use it to identify the Peaks and valleys, and then it helps me keep me in a trade a little longer because it helps me filter out the, the noise. The zigzag is no holy grail. The Fibonacci, the, excuse me, the 
zigzag is very good. You take the last print and you draw a fib and you ask yourself, based on your indicator, and the MACD is about to cross too, based on the indicator, is the stock going to go up to here or down to here? Is it going to hit that level there or hit this level, 540? This is 555. So I like to, to use the, the zigzag to help me draw my fit, fibs in order, in order to predict where price movement it is. Just helps you make your guess better. So in answer to the person's question about if you use the, the zigzag and wait till it knows what it's doing, it's too late. And that's true. You have to wait for it when it doesn't know what it's doing and then make, it, make an informed decision about what it's going to do. And it looks like this zigzag has reversed. Is there a reversal here? Your indicator says it, it, it might be. Zigzag is not the holy grail. All it is is an indicator. It looks to the future, but it helps you visually see and filter out some noise and visually see where a trend might occur, trend reversal. And that's your job, to pick the trend reverses and catch the swings and make some money. Let's get started on the trading day today. Well, looking at the NASDAQ this morning, we have a red bar, red candle for the day. Let's go down and drill down to the two hour. See what the night, what has occurred overnight. Well, a little drifting down for the NASDAQ. It's in red territory this morning. The rut, same condition, drifting down the last six to eight hours. The Dow Jones pushing up, virtually no change. No change here. It's nearly eight o'clock in the morning. Things seem to be mixed. Oil, and I had two calls yesterday to go fill my cars up about this pipeline. Um, I expect the, the gas to go up to go. I should fill up my lawnmower. Dow futures higher, futures mixed. I believe that we just seen. I have a watch list of 240 stocks, and I run a, a algorithm routine to pick out the RSI, the MACD singles, and my stochastic RSIs. And these are those singles. And then what I have to do is I take a, a look at these. I use um, either Omni Broker Chart or Trading View. I'll use Trading View because this is free version. Um, there's a free version out there for everybody to use. So I'll use the Trading View this morning. And I'll look at several of these stocks. The first one is an MACD buy for CSX. Insider selling, not good. There's your MACD buy. Very close to the zero line. The stochastic RSI is pointing up, and the RSI has already peaked. Trading at its all-time high. Insider selling, not for me today. No. Ericsson. Again, the MACD buy. There's your little signal. There's your stochastic RSI. Yes. Yes. For the RSI. That looking good. Zigzag here does not know what it's doing. So I'm looking at the next few bars, and it looks like it's pointing up. So I'm going to guess that it's going up. Zigzag doesn't know, but I'm thinking it's it's a reversal. A reversal occurred here. So I could take this trade based on my indicator. This is what I was trying to play, explain earlier in the video, is you trade your indicators, and then you get your warm fuzzy with your zigzag. And then once you're in the trade, you use the zigzag and the print of the zigzag to stay in. Ericsson, always a winner for me. This is an ETF. This is Germany. And I don't, I'll be honest with you, I haven't played it many times. There's been gaps. There is your MACD. It is below the zero line. Stochastic RSI is going up, pointing up, pointing up here. I really don't know why these gaps are occurring. Does anybody else know? And by the way, when I see gaps like this, I tend to fade the gap at some point in time. So this one I don't know. This is a technology ETF. If you're into technology and feel that it's been beaten down enough, Zigzag doesn't know what it's doing. It's looking like it's trying to turn your MACD, your stochastic RSI, and the RSI all looking great. So I think this, is, this might be a, a chance, especially if the market's going to go down a little bit today, is to get into this, this ETF. It's one on my list. A lot of ETFs popped up on my trading list today, this week or today and this is utilities it's slower you had your zigzag the major zigzag doesn't know what it's doing but the minor did and the minor now doesn't know what it's doing so the major and the minor 
Zigzags don't know what they're doing, but do you know what you're doing? Looks like it's the last two days. It looked like the zigzag has changed course. The regime has changed. I always like to wait two bars. That's enough future for me. There's your MACD. This is not quite have switched, but it looks like it's doing that a trend. And I think the utilities X, uh, ETF is a, is a good one. What do you think? Uh oh, another ETF. Zigzag doesn't know what it's doing. The major zigzag, but the minor did. And now the minor doesn't know what it's doing. Close to the zero line. I don't know. This looks like it's it's going up. If you need a stock to trade, this might be it. Consumer discretionary. I like it. But on the fence for me. I like this stop because it's relatively cheap. Nice zigs and zags. Nice swings. I, I like that. Stochastic switched a, a while back. Stochastic RSI. There's no direction here on the RSI. The MACD is close to zero. This is a wait and see. But if you believe the major zig here, it's got, no, well, that's just 50% retracement already. 50% retracement already. Yep, this is a, a no at the moment. Like to stop though. Another ETF, NASDAQ. It's been beaten down. You think it's going to go back up? I think the zigzag doesn't know what it's doing here. And it did know, and the major did. But I think that we have a, we might have a trend reversal. And I, I really do think, believe that we're going to have a trend reversal for the next two weeks. And then the jobs is going to hit. Right now, we're paying people to stay out of work. The lower end jobs, people are not going back because it, they're making more money on unemployment. That's why they can't fill these jobs. When, when that ends, I, I think we're going to have some trouble. Anyway, QQQ, I, I say yes. Your stochastic RSI is pointing up. RSI is pointing up. The MACD is going to switch over soon. I say this is a good one. Microsoft, always a favorite. There's a gap up. Even with a divorce, I don't, you know, the divorce is, is playing a lot of news. Of course, Bill Gates is not involved in the company that much anymore. But I remember when he actually answered the phone. Stochastic RSI, MACD, I say yes. Technology is going to be, I, I think it, next two weeks for technology is going to be good. So I think Microsoft is looking good to me. And the last one is it's a pharmaceutical, stochastic RSI, pointing up. If you're a believer in the stochastic RSI, that looking good there. Zigzag is pointing up. But how far can it go? Anyway, flip a coin. It's probably a good one. Again, here's my trading list. Many more though on there to take a check out. Your stochastic RSI, we covered a couple of these. MACD buys, we covered a couple of those. And here's your RSI. Aaron's is a short. Do your own due diligence. I think today is going to be mixed. I think the week is going to be up. Happy trading. Please like and subscribe. Take a look at my Discord. Get involved. Get engaged. Ask some questions. Let's do it. Catch you on the flip.